Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's the Chargers going up against the Bills. So let's go now to San Diego, California, where Jim and Phil are on the call. Bills, Chargers, coming up here on EA Sports. We welcome you to San Diego, California, for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And I guess the big question, Phil, before kickoff is what do you expect here today? Well, I think we got two really good football teams playing here. And I'll say this. I don't like to say this very much, Jim, but it's true in this game here today. It's about the quarterbacks. Which one is going to have the hot hand? Thompson's going to be deep here for the opening kick. The Chargers setting up here for the kickoff. This game is underway. Tate won't test the coverage here as he takes a knee. So the rookie quarterback will take the field, trying to improve week by week. Well, he, he's getting some experience. It's not a lot, but it's enough to help him feel more comfortable and I think play better. He should do well here today. First down at the 20. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. And that's a gain of 10. Second down following the run. Double tight end formation. McCoy has it out of the eye. He's taken down at the 42. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The Chargers with a nickel look here on defense. They call his number once more. McCoy is taken down at the 49. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out. They'll throw it over the top. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. The Bills line up in the pistol. Scanning the field. One-handed grab. Bill, that's one of the best one-handed catches we've seen all year, isn't it? Jim, that's one of the best. You don't see many this outstanding in these wide receivers. If they can't get two hands on the football, they've taught themselves over time just to go up and stretch as far as they can and get that one hand on it. And it is amazing how many times they make the catch. Only one yard remaining. 
Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Breaks the plane, and it's a touchdown. That's a terrific start for this team, Phil, with the early touchdown. Yeah, just the way they planned it, man. You get in there during the week, you practice, you look at all that all that film, and then you say, here's going to be our starting plays for the game. You go out there, you run them, and you score. That is a great feeling. Before we go any further, they're going to take another look at the last play. They're going to take another look at this one to try to determine if it was an accurate spot. Well, Jim, when there's a challenge of spotting the football, what they're doing when they go to replay, they're trying to see it has to be clear. In other words, it can't be they're not going to move it one inch or something like that. They have to have a spot on the field where they clearly can see that the spot was not After right for play, them to change where the spot was. They went to the booth, and it was not verified. Second down. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. McCoy. And Phil, what a way to make a statement by scoring so early in this game. You know, Jim, I love making statements, and that's what this team did. They went out there and told the, the opposition, we are better, we're tougher, and take that. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. Chargers offense is led by quarterback Philip Rivers, who holds virtually every San Diego passing record. We, we have high expectations for Philip Rivers. He usually delivers uh, in control of the offense. You know, and, and also to Jim, why does it work? You know, he, he, he's full of personality. I think he rubs off on his teammates, and they, and they play with a little bit of excitement because of that. down at the 28. Gordon's got it now on the draw. Right, the one who brings him to the ground. As we look at the lineups, there's the future Hall of Famer Antonio Gates, one to watch today. I think when you look at Antonio Gates, what surprises you, you see that he's big and fast, but he's very deceptive. Knows how to sit defenders up. That's why he gets wide open. The Bills defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Second down and seven. Gordon's hand at the football. Gets about four yards that time. This defensive front is so often disruptive and in the quarterback's face. This is third down. Ready, set, 180. From the gun. Looking across the middle. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. I 
I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. The line of scrimmage, the 48. The Chargers come out in a two tight end set. They give it to him on the counter. Alexander's there to take him down. Jim must keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. Second down here after that run play. Another handoff right back to him. Hines there to make the tackle. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. Coming to the line at the 38. First and ten. Snatches it with one hand. One-handed catches, Phil, are becoming a thing of art. Well, they practice it now, Jim. I think as they're growing up, you see them practice it out on playgrounds when they're in practice, and they come out here in the game, and they just make it happen. That is really, truly an incredible one-handed catch. Play number six coming up on this drive. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Handoff made. And game maybe four. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw at that time when they stopped the play for a short game. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Three-step drop. Catch made. Chargers take it across. Touchdown. And that's a nice recovery after falling behind early, tying the game here just midway through the first quarter. You know, Jim, when you fall behind early in football games, it can be a little unsettling because you go, oh, no, here we go. We're always behind, but... Hey, that touchdown, that's going to change their frame of mind and emotionally going to lift them up, should help their play. The Chargers now with the extra point to tie the game. An extra point is good. Rivers is going to look on now from the sidelines. That last drive, he contributed more than 50 yards in the air. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Thompson's going to test the coverage this time. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Bills coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay aggressive in this situation.
First down at the 21. McCoy's taking the handoff. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. This is a collection of wide receivers that could dictate this game today. They must find a way to create separation for their quarterback. The Bills line up in the pistol offense. Second and ten. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. And Lowry's in on the tackle. The heart of this defense is Melvin Ingram. Well, he can do so many things. He can put his hand on the ground. He can stand up, run with running backs and tight ends down the field. But what they really need him for, well, we know what that answer is. Find a way to get to the quarterback. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. The Bills will line up. The first down markers right at the 31-yard line. From the gun. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. Well, it's a game of chances in the NFL. It's third down. The defensive coordinator said, let's get after this quarterback. He sends the extra guys. He blitzes him. And they get there before the quarterback can react. The Bills decide they will punt the football. Benjamin's got it on the return. That's a gain of six. The Bills' defense comes back onto the field. Did not look so good that last series, giving up the touchdown. Oh, uh, you know the coaches are upset. My gosh, they ran some of the most elementary defenses that you can run, and they had mistakes by the defensive players. If they coast them up on the sidelines, we'll see if we see different results. Chargers will take the snap from the 40. Gordon's going to secure the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. That's second down coming up. Rivers out of the gun. Allen's got the catch and the first. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. Gordon's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Staying with the passing game on first down. Very nearly intercepted. Second down following that incompletion. Rivers comes out in the pistol. They'll go ground. Slashes to the left side. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Gordon is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. The line of scrimmage, the 35. The Bills lined up in the nickel. First down at the 35. 
that short throw. Second down after the incompletion. The Bills with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Rivers finds Gates. Nice job that time by the tight end. Makes the catch, and you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember, they're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. Quarterback gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. Handoff by Rivers. It's wide open. Gains 11. That time, nice job. Offensive line gives him a little hole and he gets it there and shows his toughness and picks up the first down. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The Bills defense now is going to go nickel. Rivers connects with Antonio Gates. Chargers offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone caught the defense off guard they got the completion for a good game second down coming up Rivers is standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap makes the grab and the feet are down First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. First and goal from the six. Over the middle and incomplete that time. What a drive this has been. Second and goal from the six. Gordon's got it on the handoff. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with the pass, and if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. Loss of three on the play. From the nine. Surveys. Rivers finds Allen. Defense did a good job that time. It's third and long. They know the offense wants to throw it down the field. They cover all the deep receivers and know where to go with the football except short. Should be what we call a gimme. converts here on the field goal try nearing the end of the first quarter and the three points on the board puts them ahead got to feel good about that drive that was nice uh, of course it didn't lead to a touchdown but it was good enough to get you three points
Lined up now in kickoff formation. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Chargers defense would like to repeat what it did the last drive. Not being out there too long, just three plays and forcing a punt. Well, they're going back out there. They're fresh, man. And the defensive line, the defensive front, they were awesome. That's why they got off the field so quickly. The Chargers with a nickel look here on defense. First down at the 20. Looking to go down the field here. Second down now. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. The Bills now move the chains. Mark him down for another reception. Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. is they, what's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. First down on the way. First down here after the completion. McCoy's going to take the handoff now. That's a gain of six. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Let's go. Right the yard. Hey. Second down and four. McCoy on the screen. After the incompletion. Third and four coming up. The Chargers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Melvin Ingram gets to the quarterback. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. set to punt here. Benjamin's met at the 23. Very lucky that time on that punt return. The coverage was outstanding and the returner's just lucky he didn't fumble the football. The Bills' defense comes out for the start of the new drive after allowing a field goal the last time. Jim, they hope to play better this time. You take the information that you've learned from from the last drive and go out there and correct some of those mistakes. Rivers has it under center. The Chargers take it from the 23. Alexander's all over the ball carrier. The Bills defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss.
the Bills lined up in the nickel. Second down and a long way to go. Allen's got it on a pass that had some heat. Well, he's got talent. This receiver can make the catches when you throw it his way. And I think his talent, the way offenses are designed, and the rules of the NFL, it makes guys like him almost unstoppable. Third and short. Throws the pass. And at the 49, he'll be brought down. The first quarter is in the books, and we've seen a pitcher's duel thus far. Which defense is going to crack first? We'll be back after this. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Gatorade. Win from within. We're now about to begin quarter number two. And how much pressure do you think these offenses are feeling right now to open this game up, partner? Jim, I'm going to go back to when I played. The longer you go in a game without having success, I think it makes you tighter and you lose confidence on the offensive side. So they need something here to get them off to a quick start and get them feeling good. The second quarter is underway with this snap. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. The Chargers are leading in this one, and a lot of that goes back to the play of this quarterback, Phil. Rivers has been in rhythm so far today. He has been in rhythm. He is hot. Some days, Jim, when you warm up, you know you have it, and that's what happened to this guy today. When he was warming up, he had it, and he has it in the game. Gordon's in the backfield. Single back set. Gordon's handed the football. Hines there that time for the tackle. Gordon is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Now third and four following the run. The Bills come out in a dime package. Rivers out of the gun. Great pass. Great catch. Great control. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. Rivers has completion percentage 80% on the day. Here they come to the 41-yard line. Phillip Rivers has it under center. First down at the 41. Hand off out of the eye. Gordon's tackled right at the 35. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Gordon's the receiver all the way out to the right. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. After the incompletion, third and four coming up. Phillip Rivers from the shotgun gets it out for the completion. And a flag comes out. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense.
Automatic first down. This will be the eighth play of this drive. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. They'll go ground and pick up about four. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short gain. They will snap it now at the seven-yard line. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Over the line. Touchdown. They continue to pour it on early in the second quarter with yet another touchdown here, Phil. Well, I hope the defense learned a little something on that drive. The way they are playing is not working. So, if you are allowed to blitz in this league, you can take a chance. That's what I suggest. Get after it, be more aggressive, and blitz that offense. The Chargers getting set for the point after. He made it. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. And now Tate. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. Benjamin's played a big part in their offense so far. But despite all he's done to key their passing attack, they're still facing an uphill battle. A good job by the coach so far. Boy, is he calling right plays for the wide receiver. And he's putting him in good positions, and he is coming through with catches and getting open. And you're right, Jim. You can't blame the wide receiver for the fact that they're losing this game. You would hate to see this performance go to waste, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. You know, anytime you get a wide receiver this productive, you got to take advantage of it and find a way to win. That false start penalty will push them back five yards. False start, offense. McCoy, solo back set. First down at the 23. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. McCoy's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. That tackle was made at the 27-yard line. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. The Bills are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Out of the gun. The Bills get a first down. That's his first reception today. The Bills put themselves in a terrible situation. Third and long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. 
It's first down as they head to the line. McCoy lines up in the backfield. McCoy. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. The Chargers defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Second and 12. Takes it again. McCoy is tackled down at the 45. He's averaging about four yards a carry. McCoy is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking at every option, and he's taken down. When you put on third down, you hope to get to the quarterback. Here's why. Because there are less defensive backs back there, the chances of giving up the big play are pretty high. But the rush, they're quick enough. They get there, and they sack the QB. The Bills will punt it. No return as this goes for a touchback. Alexander's heading back onto the field with the rest of the defense, and he has to be looking for an improvement here because they've been on their heels for most of this first half, partner. They have to be so disappointed about how they're playing and the results, and how do you change that? You do it with effort. They just need a greater effort out there on the defensive side. Two tight ends on the field here. First down at the 20. Handoff into the open. Gains 15. He's averaging about four yards a carry. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. First and ten. Rivers finds Gates. And Gates is met after a gain of eight. That's his fourth catch of the day. The Chargers coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football. But no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. Second and two coming up. They bring in the extra tight end. The Chargers take it from the 43. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. Gordon is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Phillip Rivers has it under center. Now first and ten. They feed it to him one more time.
And here we have second down. It's a two tight end formation. Scans the field, takes the hit, throws. Look up at that scoreboard. You're leading the football game, so we have a third and long situation. So you've got to know that. Manage the game. Don't take a chance. Third down following the incompletion. Allen's going to pull in the bullet pass. How about the way he always locks in and concentrates on the catch? Man, he's got hands like glue. When you shake his hand, he can break yours because that's how strong they are. So not surprised to see him just reach out and just snatch the football out of the air. The Bills will come out in the dime. First down at the 39. He'll throw it over the middle. Anderson's there to make the stop. The Chargers did a good job that time. Throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards. Now second and short really puts the defense in a tough position. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. Strong eye handoff here. Hines there to take it down. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the box very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up the first down. That's, that's nice. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. First down and 10. Right back to him. Gordon's tackled right at the 20. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Breaking huddle at the 20. And Gates is split out wide on the left. Second down and 10. Gordon's taking the handoff. Going to be a tackle for a loss. In a situation like this, third long, if you're the defense, catch him by surprise and blitz. Play after play after play here on this drive. Third and 12. Down the field. This will be a 38-yard field goal attempt. The kick is through for three. Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker that time. Nice job by the offense moving the football down the field.
The Chargers getting ready for the kickoff. Thompson's going to start his return. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Bills hope to get things going here. They have been anything but productive here in quite some time. Three consecutive drives that have led to nowhere. Well, let's give a lot of credit to the defensive side, especially the defensive line. They are absolutely taking it to the offense. They are beating them up. And when the defensive line is winning the battles like this, it's all about the defense. First down at the 28. Benjamin's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. The line of scrimmage, the 25-yard line. First down at the 25. McCoy's met at the 16. He's now over 50 yards rushing on the day. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second and one coming up. Here's the handoff. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? Stepping up to the line at the 14. The Bills come out. Jumbo package on the field. First and ten. He's going to get another carry. McCoy taken down. That's going to be a pickup of six. Well, Jim, I can say this. LaShawn McCoy, it doesn't matter when you give him the football. you got to look out because he is a great player. Inside the red zone, most teams want to throw it. They give it to LaShawn McCoy. Picks up some nice yards there that time on the run play. Stepping up, ready to go from the seven. Away from the ball, there's a he's in for the touchdown, but hold on a minute. There's a flag down. There's a flag away from the football. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. the penalty it's second down and 12. Get ready. Get the yes. Get the yes. they'll hand it off to Tolbert picks up about five the Bills they can do it all once they get in the red zone they have the passes the screens they can throw it down to the back of the end zone and how about that play they can run the football right at you if they want to at that time they picked up some some good yards on that run. Half time, two minutes away.
We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. Defensive timeout, we're ready for action. Hauschka set to attempt the field goal. The kick is good. Well, this guy's a machine. Every time he gets a chance to go out there and kick a field goal, it is right down the middle. Good job by the offense. Good job by the kicker. The Chargers ready to return the kick. And no return here. So Rivers will start this drive from the 20. The Chargers have to be pretty excited about the way this game has opened up for them as we near halftime. Well, I know they love the way their offense is playing. Now, on the other side, you've got to do something different on, on defense. You know, it, there's a rule that says you can blitz if you want to. You don't have to sit back there all the time and be so passive. drop back look at that concentration as he makes the grab the Chargers have gone to the air here in the first half and when they have they've looked to their tight end and Gates has been the beneficiary of that strategy and he's gotten plenty of chances to touch the football they have found a weakness in the defense and that is throwing the football to the tight end and we all know if it's working stay with it. the Bills defense now is going to go nickel the Chargers have it at the 29. And Gates has got the catch and the first. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy? Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch it. First down at the 37. Rivers can't find the target incomplete. The Bills with a nickel look here on defense. Second and ten. Two hands on the football and has the catch. The Chargers. One timeout remaining. Off 
offense ready for action coming out of their timeout. Third and short, following the completion. From the gun. Looking across the middle, and there's a drop. Holding offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. Third and 11 after the penalty. Rivers out of the gun. there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. And why not? He's talented. And every time the football's thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch. The Chargers have to take their final timeout. That's it. The 37 is the line of scrimmage. And Gates is shifted out wide to the left as a receiver. Rivers out of the gun. Looking to go deep. But it's incomplete. Deep passes in the NFL, they always serve a purpose. You're not always going to get the completion, but at least it gets the defense thinking that you will try some long throws down the field. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Gordon's going to secure the handoff. Gaines is in on the tackle. Third and five coming up. They're in the hurry-up mode. And there's the spike. Novak now lines up for the field goal attempt. Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. And we've reached halftime here in Southern California. We'll take a quick break and return to San Diego for the second half after this. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to it. The Chargers are up right now and are looking to keep up the pressure moving forward. The Bills just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. 
Bills opening the game on offense. A one-handed grab will be made here, and he'll be tackled at the one-yard line. Sticking with the same try, it's going to be a run play here, and he'll end up sprinting into the end zone. The Bills up by a touchdown. Same drive. McCoy's got it off the left side here. And he'll take it in for the touchdown. The Bills right first in this one. Chargers line up at the 13. Benjamin's got the reception. And 13 yards later, he'll go in for the score. We're brand new at 7. Now it's early in the second. He'll go to the ground and pound here. And he cap off the long drive with a touchdown. Chargers push the lead to 10. Third down from the 37. The catch is made after a quick pass, and the pass and catch will end up going for 26 yards. So that'll do it for us. We'll go back now to San Diego for the second half. Jim Nance, Bill Sims here at San Diego Stadium, getting set for the second half. Hauschka will be sending this one down towards the end zone to get the second half started. With this kick, the second half is underway. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The Bills' defense finds themselves trailing here, Phil, but a stop right out of the box to start the second half could swing the momentum for their side. It could, Jim. You know, at halftime, when your team is losing, usually on the offensive side, they're going, okay, guys, let's do this and that. On the defensive side, it's all about yelling, give us more energy, play harder, be tougher. So that's what I expect from the defense right here. The Bills defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The third quarter begins with this play. That's a gain of six. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Nice run that time. You run the football like this over a period of time. It's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second and four following the run. Rivers is ready for the snap. Empty backfield. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. The Chargers now move the chains. The Chargers have created chances for themselves in the passing attack today. Rivers has been unstoppable so far. He has been unstoppable, hasn't he? When your quarterback is hot, keep giving the football to him. They've done it and he has rewarded the coaches. Third and one coming up. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. And there's Gates. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First down, offense readying for the snap. the old counter play and now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play he's now got 70 plus yards on the ground Gordon is a very smart runner he knows situations in the game he saw the first down yard markers and what does he do he gets past them and picks up the first down First down coming up. Hey, 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 hey. 
And now on the draw. They tackle him for a loss. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Second down coming up. The Chargers come out with a split backfield. To the right side, looking for some open space. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Now looking at third down. The Chargers will look to get to the 37 to pick up a first down. Phillip Rivers from the shotgun. Off the mark. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. The Chargers are going to punt this one away. And the punt is kicked out of bounds. The Chargers defense starts this series knowing the last time they were out here, they allowed a field goal. Yeah, it was not a good drive for them, and I know the coaches were upset. I was watching them on the sideline yelling at a few guys, so I expect a better effort this time out. Sean McCoy is in the backfield. First down at the 22. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. And Lowry's going to make the tackle. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. The Chargers lined up in the nickel. Let's go. First and ten. And now they're going to go with the draw play. Gets about nine on the play. The Bills have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. McCoy's been leading the charge on this front, Phil. And they've done it many ways. They've done it with power runs, going outside, going inside. Draw plays, everything is working for this running game today. And it's been impressive to watch. Second and one. On the way. Double tight end formation. The Bills will take the snap from the 45. Meebane's all over that offense and brings him down. The Chargers guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. Decision. There are a lot worse situations you could be in to go for it. This is one. I think all the odds are on your side. Do it, coach. They're set to punt it away now. And 
this will end up in the end zone for a touchback. The Bills' defense got tested on that last drive, but eventually it led to a punt. Yeah, it was an awesome job by the defense. They really did a lot of things correct. They hustled. They played hard. That is the cornerstone to any good defense. down at the 20. Gordon's got it on the handoff. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. He didn't get many yards that time on that run, but he's had a terrific day. When there's an opportunity to get some yards, he's been there to take advantage of it. Second and six coming up. Rivers out of the gun. Finds his mark. That's five receptions on the day. What a nice catch by the receiver. Get past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. Rivers, his completion percentage, 70% on the day. First down here. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The catch is made. That's a gain of seven. The Chargers did a good job there on first down. That pass picks up some good solid yards. Now second and short. Much easier to call those kind of plays. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Looks like a false start penalty. False start, offense. Second and eight after the penalty. Gordon's going to take the handoff now. And picks up maybe three or four. Well, not many yards get there on that play, but it doesn't matter. What a day and what a job this running back has, has done here. It's third down coming up. The Chargers need to get to the 42 for the first down. Rivers out of the gun. And they get the quarterback. Well, you just get tired of sending four, three, or four players at the quarterback in passing situations. So this time, the defensive coordinator sends the blitz, and they are up for it. They get to the QB and get a sack. They're in punting formation.
the Bills didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic, wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but man, that was pretty easy. McCoy lines up in the backfield. McCoy secures it on the toss. This will be second down. Out of the shotgun formation. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. That's reception number four for him. All right, guys, the wide receivers in the NFL now, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two and three, and some have four. Good job that time by him hauling in that pass. Setting up now at the 44-yard line. The Bills in the pistol. Let's go. Now first and ten. And they get the sack. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback, and the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. Coming to the line of scrimmage right at midfield. Let's go. go Benjamin's got it on a pass that had some heat. This is one of those guys, when you talk about receivers, no matter what, he is always open. If the coverage is tight, don't worry. Throw it out there. He'll make a play. And the offense will need three yards here on third down after the completion. Get ready. Get ready. Stands in the pocket. Catch made. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Quarterbacks love play action passes, especially on first down. Because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. Set up now at the 32. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First down and 10. And that's a gain of nine. He's up over 90 yards so far on the day. That's where you need the big size on your defense. You need it inside. In other words, you need big defensive linemen that can cover the center and the guards to stop these runs right up the middle. Breaking huddle at the 23-yard line. An extra tight end on the field for this one. The Bills take it from the 23. Tolbert looking for a lane. Tolbert's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play 
that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Foster, offense. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The Bills will take the snap from the 25. Going deep. Just 25 yards to pay dirt. Two tight ends on the field here. The Bills will take the snap from the 25. Scanning the field. Touchdown, and they get one back. We have more than a quarter to go, Phil, and that touchdown has certainly lifted their spirits and given them hope that they could still win the game. It just changes everything here, man. I'm telling you, we're sitting here thinking maybe the game is over, but, but hold on there, big boy. There's a lot more that's going to happen in this game before it's over. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Chargers kickoff return team is on the field. After seeing their defense surrender some points, the score is 23 to 17. The Chargers ready to return the kick. And no return here. So Rivers will start this drive from the 20. Melvin Gordon retakes the field. And he hasn't carried the load for them offensively like he usually does. The aerial game has been their main focus today, and it's worked. Oh, I think this running back loves this. You know, that body of his is not taking that pounding. So when they do call on him, maybe it's later in the game or it's next week, he'll be ready to carry that football and, and just punish the defense. First down at the 20. Gordon's handed the football. And that'll be a gain of about two. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Gordon is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. The Bills' defense now is going to go nickel. Gordon's taking the handoff. Gordon's met at the 23. Gordon is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Third down on the way. Rivers has got it in the gun. <laughs> All set to punt here.
Thompson's going to look for space now. Taken down at the 45. That return's good for about nine. The Chargers' defense. Let's see where they are mentally here, Phil, after allowing a touchdown. Well, they got to have some motivation after that last drive. It was so poor. It's about discipline. We didn't see it from their defense. So this time, go out there and just do your job. down at the 45. He's got some daylight. And now he'll slide. That's a really smart job that time by the quarterback. Pick up all the yards you can, and before you're going to get hit, slide in there like you're going to second base. Second down here. Tried to find his target over the middle, but that pass goes incomplete. It'll be third down. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. This will be incomplete. It'll be a three and out. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up a place like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. The Bills decide they will punt the football. Executed punt now really will help out this defense, forcing the opposition to start the next drive inside the 10. The Chargers have failed to come away with points on three consecutive drives. Their offense takes the field again now. What's caused them to go silent here, partner? Listen, let's give all the credit to the defense. They are being very creative on the defensive side. The coach has called the right plays, and they are just taking it to the offense right now. The more aggressive team is winning, and that's the defense. And Gates is set now. Split out wide to the left. Gordon's going to secure the handoff. Gordon's tackled down after a gain of seven. So three quarters in the books. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chargers will come to the line trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth. That'll be second and four after the running play. They bring in the extra tight end. He'll take the staff, the first here in the fourth quarter. To Cumberland. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. That's reception, number two for him. Well, here we are in the second half of a tight game, and you, you always hear this, control the tempo of the game, just move the chains. And that's what the offense did that time. Picked up the first down and just keep marching from here. Rivers, this completion percentage, 70% on the day. The Bills go with the dime formation here on defense. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. Surveys has his man. They'll mark him at the 28. When you have a lead in the fourth quarter, you like these short completions because you pick up yards and that clock keeps moving. Pass 
complete, but did not get them the first, so it's second down now. Gordon's got it on the handoff. And gains about one. Gordon is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. They come to the line, and it's first down. And they go back to the ground. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. He's up over 90 yards so far on the day. That is a good job. This running back, known for his speed, at that time shows a little power and breaks that tackle. After running it, it's second down. Just a quick drop back. And Gates has got it. First down. Creating space and being a big target. That's what we've seen out of this guy today, Phil. No doubt about it. He is a talented tight end. In the NFL, the coaches are doing a better and better job of finding ways to get tight ends more chances to catch the football. And this guy's taking advantage of him so far here today. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. They go draw. Trying to power his way right up the middle. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. That was a predictable play call here in the fourth quarter. You got a, you got a little lead, and you're trying to run the football to run out the clock, but the defense was ready and stopped it for a short game. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The give. Wide to the left. Johnson's there to make the tackle. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive. They're over pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. This will be the eighth play of this drive. The Chargers will line up. First down markers right at the 47-yard line. Phillip Rivers from the shotgun pulls it in. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. Rivers has now completed four in a row. The football sits at the 40. Gordon's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. The Chargers will take the snap from the 40. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. This long drive continues. Rivers comes out in the pistol. The Chargers take it from the 43. It's Rivers down the field. The ball is charged loose. Hey, easy call. Be safe. Put the pressure on the other team to make the plays on the offensive side to beat you. So right here, you call something very conservative. Third down now. Rivers out of the gun. And the catch is made by Antonio Gates. The 
The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim, they're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. Rivers, this completion percentage, 70% on the day. The Bills with a nickel look here on defense. First down at the 26. Alexander's the one who made the big stop. The Bills' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. Offense heads to the line for the 13th play of this drive. Rivers out of the gun. Looking at every option. Melvin Gordon makes the reception. Tim, there's just nothing like just controlling the football game. You got a lead, and now here your offense is on the field and just marching right down. This is the 14th play of this series. First down following the long play. Looking to go up top again on first down. This has been a nice little drive by the offense. They started out in bad field position. Look at them now inside the red zone. Let's see if they can pay it off. Second and goal from the seven. Got the completion. When you get third goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. Rivers, this completion percentage, 70% on the day. Marching down the field and taking their time. The Chargers come out and a bunch set. Third and goal at the four. Throws the pass. That's a ball that should have been caught. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. Chip shot here. for them probably not enough time left to surrender this lead they're gaining control of this one down to the finish sometimes in this game when you get a lead it's not about trying to pour it on it's about being smart all that matters is winning find a way to get this game over with while you're still on top The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Thompson's going to test the coverage here. The Chargers defense last time out there said, you know what? We're in the three and out business. The great late Charlie Jones would have said that was spectacular. And that's what they looked like on that last drive. They just, they dominated in every aspect. You had to love Charlie Jones. Oh, man, he was the best. Let's go! Hey. 
Dropping back now into the shotgun. Trying to escape the pressure. And there he goes, sliding to get away from the hit. It's a rough game out there. Avoid hits at all costs. Good job that time by the quarterback sliding before he takes the hit. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Let's go. Grab 38. Grab 38. Second down and five. And Hayward nearly had the pick. Coming up. The Chargers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Takes it from the gun. The Bills get a first down. Well, if you guard the tight end close, it, it sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance. They get it done. The Chargers defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. He'll take the snap from the gun. Charles Clay has the catch. And Lowry's the one who brings him to the ground. Wow, Phil, you would think when a quarterback has a game like this going that they would not only have the lead, but maybe a big lead. Instead, they're trailing. Yeah, Jim, and you know, look, if you look at the stats, once again, we'll say it, stats do lie. It's not all about the quarterback all the time. It is a team game, and they are just not doing it overall so far. Set up now at the 26. That long gain sets them up here on this play. From the shotgun. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. It's a two tight end formation. Second down and ten. And he's thrown to the ground. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. At the 33. They'll go shotgun here. Secures it with two hands. The Bills on their offensive play sheet, they don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. This play set up by the long gainer. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Into the hands of Kelvin Benjamin. The Bills had a nice play designed that time and pulled the defense, and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. They'll try over again on second down. From the shotgun. Catch 
made near the sideline. That's his first reception today. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Coming up to the line at the two. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. That's a touchdown. Able to take it across from just a couple of yards out. While that touchdown edges them closer to the lead, it may be a case of too little, too late in this game, Phil. Well, it could be, Jim, but listen, I'm going to say this. It's never over. Remember 2015, the Seattle Seahawks had the Green Bay Packers in their place. I thought the game was over many times, but the Seahawks hung in there, and they found a way to pull it out. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. The point after is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And now Benjamin. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Allen's been less involved as this game's gone on, Phil. He was a big factor early, but he's been taken away by this defense. Yeah, you got to look at it, Jim, and say, well, the defense is not dumb. They made some adjustments, and they made it much tougher for the offense to get the football to the wide receiver. First down at the 31. Scans the field. Allen's going to pull in the bullet pass. The catches have come in bunches for this wide receiver, Phil. Good job by this wide out today. He is finding a way to catch the football. But let's also give credit to the offensive line for pass protection. And the coaching staff, they have done a tremendous job of coming up with different plays to find different ways for him to catch the football. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. First and ten. They'll run it here. Gordon's met after a gain of three. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. The game is close. It's in the fourth quarter. You're winning. You're on the offensive side. You find out if you can really run the football in these situations. That time, short gain on the run. They come to the line at the 28. The Bills lined up in the nickel. Second down and seven. He'll throw it over the middle. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. Third and seven following the incompletion. Rivers will take the snap from the gun. The Chargers now move the chains. That's his fourth catch of the day. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time, throws it down the field for another completion. Rivers, his completion percentage, 70% on the day. 
The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Coming to the line at the 19-yard line. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Back now in this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. This next snap will take place at the 19. The Bills' defense now is going to go nickel. Second and 11. Gordon's going to take the handoff now. That's a gain of six. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. The defense needed to slow this game down, so that may be a very useful timeout. Now they're ready to go. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third down and four. Gordon makes the grab. That's a gain of six. That's a timeout call. Coming up to the line at the seven. First and goal from the seven. Handoff out of the eye formation. They immediately call for a timeout. It's now second down. Dropping back three. Touchdown, San Diego. so much time in this league once you get in the red zone on the offensive side all these different plays knowing you must be efficient you need to score touchdowns instead of kicking field goals well you can feel good now because you've got it in there the chargers getting set for the point after
And the extra point is good. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Tate's going to run this one out. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Bills come back out. Let's see if they can answer now with a touchdown to their own. Of course, last time... The offensive unit was on the field. They took it down, marched in for a score. I don't see why they can't answer. Everything is working, and so they're coming out there full of confidence, and we know football players, especially on the offensive side, when they have confidence, man, they play their best. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. The Chargers set at the line, dime package. Snap it out of the gun. This play will hold up. He's inbounds. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. First down, pressure on every snap now. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. From the gun. It's Kelvin Benjamin with the football. First down here. Good job by the offense here, Jim. Be in a hurry-up mode. You have no timeouts. Interception that will all but seal it. Horrible time to throw the interception. But hats off to the defense here, Phil. They come up with the stop, the play, the takeaway at just the right time. Yeah, listen, I, I give the defense all the credit in a situation like this. Uh, you know, they took advantage of a quarterback who they knew was going to have to take a chance, and they were ready to pounce on it. Looking at this comparison, Phil, it's fun to see these two quarterbacks going head-to-head -head in a tightly contested game. Yeah, so well played on the offensive side by both teams. The quarterbacks, they've been very sharp. They're on target with the football, and their offensive lines are playing very well. Takes the knee. Coming up, second down. Takes the knee. This is third down.
for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now.